Hey, what is up, YouTube? I'm uh, going to do a short, quick little review of the Blackmagic Ultra Studio Mini Recorder that I just recently purchased. Um, picked it up to be able to run my DSLR um, uh, to be able to use it for live stream through OBS and everything like that. Um, the uh, Blackmagic Recorder uh, converts SDI, HDMI into Thunderbolt be able to plug it directly into your your computer um, whenever I purchased it it came with software um, uh, that driver was actually already out of date uh, it came with a 9.5 and they already had the uh, 9.7 on their website so uh, ran into an issue whenever I uh, plugged it into my computer everything I saw on rail was Oh, it's plug and play, it's plug and play. Uh, well, I plugged and I didn't get to play. So, um, whenever I plugged it in, uh, or let me say this, whenever you saw the driver, uh, I'll show you guys on my uh, desktop here. Um, bear with me for just a second. So, whenever you purchase it, uh, it comes with this desktop video setup. Uh, you're supposed to be able to, in, in this area you're supposed to be able to change it from SDI which it defaults to to HDMI mine was not recognizing the device after multiple uninstalls reboots reinstalls uh, I took to the threads of the internet to try and figure out what was going on after about an hour I finally uh, came across a uh, thread that um, showed uh, that uh, where a gentleman's he, he was talking about how whenever he installed the driver that his Mac actually blocked the installation um, so uh, all you have to do if this happens is go into your security and privacy which I'll show you guys um, go into your security privacy and um, all you have to do is to select the I'll show you down here at the bottom uh, your radio button should be on app store and identify developers for apps that will be allowed to be downloaded to your computer if it's blocked it it will say down here at the bottom the program name and that it blocked it and it'll have a button over here on the right that says allow once I clicked allow it was instant the uh, device then showed up here. I switched it from SDI to HDMI and boom, I was able to use my uh, DSLR uh, as a live stream. Um, and you know, it's uh, has a little bit of latency in it, but um, quality and just the ease of use and the quality that you're gonna get from DSLR makes it worth it. So, um but yeah, I uh, use it with my Panasonic uh, GH2 and love it. I love the GH2, love Panasonic. Um, but yeah, for any Apple users out there, uh, if you run into that issue, that's that'll take care of you. Um, again, running High Sierra 2011 iMac, 21 and a half inch, 8 gigs of RAM, terabyte hard drive. Um, so plenty of juice, but... Uh, that is all that I got. That's uh, about all the time that I have as well. Um, so, again, I uh, would recommend Ultra Studio Mini Recorder from Blackmagic. Um, uh, if you run into those issues, just remember security and privacy. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like the video.